look at these beautiful mountains. I'm at land level 210, hovering right over these mountains and Uzbekistan is right there in the distance. Uh, we'll be entering their TMA very soon. Um, yeah, okay, so down to our flight planning. So I have selected the arrival for Isla 08 left via the uh, Kufik uh, 1 X-ray uh, star so our flight plan basically takes us from here uh, right all the way down to uh, Kufim all right and then we're going straight to Sivar which is the which is the final approach fix for runway 08 left so it's straight down descending and uh, I'll just have to make sure we maintain that profile all right so that's the flight plan page done um, there is a VOR there um, stand by guys I just want to bring that up uh, let me get the ILS 08 left onto the iPad and the uh, there is a VOR which is the uh, Tashkent VOR which is Tango Kilo Tango all right so I'm gonna hard tune that Tango Kilo Tango put it over there choose the first one Tango Kilo Tango and put it over there and uh, checking the ILS frequency is 110.5 it is indeed 110.5 uh, I India November Golf is the identifier 076 is the final course so everything checks out over there progress I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put uniform tango 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 08 left for our tracking accuracy is high on the GPS and uh, performance gonna go here next phase next phase and uh, now I just want to fill in the details over here uh, the QNH is 1016 if I come over here and um, yeah the temperature is 26 okay so the temperature is 26 winds are coming out of 360 and uh, 8 knots it's a light wind today and um, yeah not 8 knots and uh, the minimums are 1569 so 1569 um, on the barrel and there it is right over there Okay, that's performance done. Coming back to fuel prediction, looks like we're gonna have an extra one hour 32 minutes of endurance, which is pretty good. Secondary flight line copy active. And that, my friends, is the hat. Done. All right, we'll use auto brakes low for this approach. And uh, the missed approach has already been briefed, so we know what we have to do. Now, I did, I did uh, calculate that I wanna start my descent at 57 miles away from the airport. So if I come here, take any waypoint, go to fix info, uniform tango tango tango, 08 left is what I'm tracking. And I wanna be 57 miles away from them. And um, yeah, in fact, let me just, uh, thanks to my short term memory, <laughs> let me just do that calculation uh, once more. Yes, it's 56, I'll, I'll put 57 in there. And uh, with a radial in to the runway of 256, all right. There we go. So there we go, there's the little circle that marks the uh, 57 miles away from, uh, from Uzbekistan, from Tashkent. And um, yes, uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, we're, we're done with the briefing. And in literally just a few, in just a couple of minutes, we're going to start the descent and the approach into Tashkent. So guys, I'm going to get back to you when I'm just about to join the final approach, okay? So in the meantime, sit back, relax, and hope you're enjoying the video so far. Okay, guys, we've uh, we commenced our descent, and uh, here we are making our way into Tashkent and uh, we're literally just 25 miles away from starting the turn to our final approach. We're maintaining our profile very well. Uh, we need to be at 4,000 feet um, before we get to um, the uh, final approach fix which is uh, Sivir. So according to this it looks like we're gonna make it. So. As long as we stay on our profile, we're looking good. And um, yeah, so right now the aircraft is coming up to 10,400. Gonna deploy and get the aircraft to slow itself down. 
in fact I need to reduce the rate of descent to about 500 feet a minute so that I can make sure I'm at 250 knots uh, below um, below 10,000 feet because I don't want to break that altitude constraint so yeah so we should be good to go and uh, yep there's 10,000 and I'm a little fast but I'm not but I'm gonna get there in about 10 seconds so huh, should be all right guys all right excellent so now I'm just gonna go ahead and manage that descent back again and uh, yep gonna get my 10,000 checks lights come on and uh, we also want to put the ILS's on as well red navs are all set up on the MCDU and uh, what else um, yes we're descending now to uh, uh, below our QNH so we can go ahead and set the QNH 1016 1016 cross check all right that's uh, that's pretty much uh, all we had to do for now and uh, gonna keep using those speed brakes to help us slow down I'm actually gonna activate the approach phase early and I'm gonna manage my speed I want to bring the speed down to about 240 and pull that and um, basically just make sure that we're uh, descending in time to uh, the altitude that we need to get to uh, so we're okay for now ish but we're still going to be a little high so this needle here has to be so we need to be 4000 before this waypoint here sever okay so if it's saying I'm gonna be at 4000 that's good that is actually good so if I could while the speed brake is helping me maintain that that's that's gonna help me out as well excellent so I could literally maybe increase the rate of descent by increasing my speed just a little bit that's gonna bring my profile back so if I can gain some space over here that's gonna help me get to 4000 before that alright so we got about 10 miles before we reach there and uh, yeah looking good all right we got the glide slope coming in as well very nice excellent so if I'm gonna get to if I'm gonna get to a um, if I'm gonna get to 4,000 by this point here then I can immediately start uh, slowing the aircraft down so I'll keep it at 250 for now and uh, so I don't break any speed restrictions uh, and once I get there then it's time to start thinking about uh, configuring the aircraft as soon as possible which I'll probably do with a non-standard gear down all right we're below the glide slope and we're gonna be turning soon let's assume we're cleared for the approach so I'm gonna arm the lo localizer and glide slope so cat 3 dual autopilot 1 plus 2 and we should be good to go sweet all right come on give me 4,000 give me 4,000 all right we're definitely going to be at 4,000 before our target altitude so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and manage that speed and once the speed bleeds off there we go speeds bleeding off we are now below 250 knots I can go ahead and do a non-standard gear down there we go gears coming out speed all star go around altitude here is uh, 5,000 so we're good there excellent so now I've got the uh, I've got localizer star we're capturing we're at the altitude we need to be awesome all right I'm gonna go ahead flaps one let the aircraft continuously start uh, slowing itself down once I have flaps two I should be able to uh, retract the, the spoilers all right speed check and flaps two beautiful all right I can now retract the spoilers and arm them don't need to keep them sticking out anymore flaps three now yep we've got flaps three coming and flaps full and uh, we've got glide slope so go around altitude set and we're done 
that's it. That's how you manage the energy on the aircraft, guys. If you got any more questions about how to do this and why I did this and huh, you know, <laughs> all those kind of stuff, let, just, just let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to explain it. <laughs> all right, 2,000 feet, cross check, autopilot's going off. There we go. And we're flying now. As you can see, small corrections happen on the side stick just to keep us in the middle of the flight director following the SRS and uh, taking us in towards the airport. And it's small, tiny corrections. You barely move, do anything. Look at this, all right? Look at this. Look at the flight director. Look at the thing. See that? A little pull, a little pull. Keep it there. You're in the middle. And that's all you had to do. See that? This is how we fly the aircraft. Small corrections literally give release give release never over correct guys in the airbus the key to flying the airbus is uh, don't fly it <laughs> literally just give a just command what you want on the stick and and do it there and look at this view coming in guys such a beautiful city wow little rivers and whatever those circular thingies are over there but okay focus focus on the landing part Never mind. I can sightsee later. <laughs> All right. Five hundred. Four hundred. All right. So the winds are coming from the left, from north. So three hundred. Gonna, gonna work against us as a side about. slight crosswind, but that's okay. I I can. I can, I can live with that. So we are crabbing right now. Minimum. It's a good thing I like seafood. All right, here we go. 100. Coming up over the threshold, holding it steady here. 50. Wings nice and level. 30. Flaring, flaring, flaring. flaring. Kill the power. Continue flaring. Hold five degrees. Five. And kiss the runway. Rudders, spoilers, reverses, green. Here we go. <laughs> All right, factoring for that crosswind. And that, my friends, is how you grease an airplane onto the runway. 70 knots, idle reverse. Disengage the uh, auto brakes, going manual brake in. Okay, trust levers are fully idle now, hands are on the tiller, and we're going to, uh, we'll exit right over here, that should do it for us. Yep, number four, as planned guys, here we go, 